Well, we made it to Kentucky. Up here with Gary Kinder at uh, Ass Shot Hunting. And uh, you in Kentucky. Show y'all around the lodge a little bit. Let y'all see kind of little cabin he built for us to stay in. And uh, kind of what we got working, working in here. Getting everything ready for this afternoon's hunt. Checking all our gear. We got a bunch of rain came in here just now. It's opening day for Kentucky's archery season. We're right, waiting on this rain to kind of die down a little bit. We're gonna try to slip in on the back side of it and get set up for this afternoon's hunt the first evening. But got our clothes hanging up, done sprayed everything down, done washed it down, got everything ready. So the scenario is, of course, Kentucky you knows a baiting state, and uh, Gary's been feeding these deer all summer, and he's got a big ten, probably a hundred and sixty inch. Uh, ten point that has been about as consistent as you'd want one. We'll go in here. We'll show you all some pictures of him and uh, So this is the buck we're after he's a mainframe 10 got a few little base kickers, but For the last two months. He's been about as consistent as you would want a buck especially a mature buck a few other pictures of him and we're hoping this rain this evening, once it clears out, that these bucks will get up on their feet earlier than normal. We've got a couple other deer in the area, some big eights that we've got a possibility of going after that have been real consistent. Um, some some nicer younger deer, cull bucks. Got a nice eight with a little kicker right here. This deer's got some some velvet damage. Um, he's on the no shoot list, but a lot of good deer Gary's been keeping around. He's got around 15 or 20 shooters that he's got right now early season lined out between big shooters and a few coal bucks and uh but we've got our heart kind of set on this big 10 and um go get the obsession get it out there got the new sever broadheads that we got uh this year can't wait to try those out see how those go excited to put one of those to work see what kind of blood trails we get off that what kind of destruction it does when we go go through a deer with one of them Smoked him, smoked him, bro. He is done, son.
is the seventh book we saw. Oh, we didn't look back at it. You couldn't have stuck him with an arrow no better than that. I really think he may only went 40 yards. If he went further than 40 yards, I'd be surprised. He didn't even hardly run. He just kind of trotted over there, stopped, and then all of a sudden all the birds flew off. I think he went down. You know the pictures the other day of the spike he come in with? Mm -hmm. So the spike come in and had an eight point. I ain't, I ain't seen a picture of this one. He looks like the one with the little dagger, but he doesn't have anything. But he's probably 110, 15 inch deer. They come up, they fed. Every deer come from down there. Come up the edge and come in pretty much right here. And uh, that eight, it circled around. We realized he wasn't one and they left. And then this little small basket eight, this really, really short. I mean, he barely got three on each side, this little short brows. He comes up, he's feeding, and every every few minutes he and he's looking right back down in there. And there's a gap right there. And I seen him when he when he walked across it. I knew he was one of the bigger bucks because his body was so big. And he kicked his head just as he turned to come up through them bushes. I told Trent, I said, there he is. And he come up and got right between these two trees and he sat there facing us for probably three minutes just you look up, and look up and at eight point you can hear something like some limbs or something and I think it was a squirrel jumping around and a little eight turn and when he did a ten turned off side. yeah it don't get no better than that Done here in Kentucky, opening day. Worked out just like we had it drawn up for once. Got a little rain in at lunch. He come in probably an hour earlier than he'd been coming in. We think that probably triggered him coming on in. Had uh, several does, smaller bucks, one decent buck came in. He followed in a little satellite buck, sent him in there, I guess to check everything out. And then he come in like, what, nothing wrong. And I made a perfect shot on him, the new sever broadheads. It's the first time I've got to shoot them. And they opened him up, great blood trail. He probably went 30, 40 yards. And uh, my biggest bow kill to date, my first velvet buck ever. Um, couldn't have asked for anything more out of Gary and, and what, what he's done up here, communicating you know, what kind of bucks he's had, what the scenarios would be, getting us set up so that I could come up here open a week. Trent driving up after he got out of school on Friday and us trying to make this trip get done. We both got in here late last night. Didn't hunt this morning to try to not mess him up by going in and putting pressure on him and it paid off. Uh, couldn't be more happy with this deer. Um, good start to the season for the Freak Outdoors crew, for myself, for Trent, you know, getting all this on film. I mean, it just, it worked out great and uh, ready to keep it going from here. See what the rest of 2018's got in store for us. But uh, this is a sign of things to come. It's gonna be a great year. <laughs>